So today we will learn how to enable Telnet in Windows operating system. So right now I'm using a Windows 10 and uh, open here. So you can use a shortcut key here. So right now I'm using this uh, shortcut command to open a add remove wizard. So uh, here, so let me here. So in a, you can open a run and here you can use, okay, so Yeah, this is a, this, it is a a double p wizard dot cpl okay so it will open your directly add remove program so these are some shortcut we can use it okay so let me choose it and let me make it a okay okay so okay so <clears throat> okay so now it's open here okay so add remove wizard is now here uh, program and features here so you can see this window is open here okay so let me maximize it okay so here uh, we need to go here a uh, this features okay so here so turn on uh, turn windows features on and off we need to click here so let me click here okay so okay so it will open a one more window okay so here you can on your here we will find out more features here about your windows so by default these are disabled so you can enable here okay so now you will see here okay so the here hyper v features or here so let's find out which is we need we, we want to enable telnet client here see here telnet so we need to tick mark here uh, we want a telnet here and here the uh, these are the services okay so which is not tick mark it means these are not enabled so we have now uh, we have enabled this features here so it was uncheck mark we have tick check mark we did a check mark and after that we need to make it a okay okay so so let me make it a okay Okay, so, okay, so now you can see it is completed here. Okay, so this, so Telnet we have installed successfully. Let me close it now and we can verify. Okay, so how we can verify? Uh, let me open a Windows R and, and uh, let me put here 10.10.1.200 10 and the port number, for example, 139. Um, 139 i am checking this port is open or not using a telnet command that was the reason and a telnet port number by default is 23 so i'm just checking the port is open or not so now you see connecting okay so now the telnet so here okay so now the telnet is working fine here okay so you have seen a message here it was connected okay it had it was show here connected okay so now we have perfectly installed a telnet here so why we are using a uh, tel uh, telnet uh, we have used 10 dot 10 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 200 and 139 uh, actually the port number is using to telnet is a 23 23 is the port number well, 139 is a port number of samba okay uh, samba so here why we are using it as uh, we want uh, we want to verify the port is enabled uh, from a uh, the port is enabled from a server side or not port number uh, 139 is enabled or not okay so enabled or enabled or not 
so that was the reason we have checked it here and it connected here okay telnet and okay so it means it is an open from a from a firewall from a server side so this is our server so let me show you here so this is okay so here so samba is allowed this is a linux box and we are checking here here so we have already added in firewall cmd port here okay and um, suppose if i want to disable it and let's let's say test let me uh, let me remove this samba from here uh, let me remove and we'll test here firewall hyphen cmd uh, and let me clean uh, firewall cmd hyphen hyphen uh, you remove uh, i'm removing a service that is uh, samba let us remove a services here okay so we have removed and let's let me check it here uh, hyphen hyphen list hyphen service okay okay so it is not there uh, but one one more thing uh, it uh, the port uh, we have established a connection so let's check a connection is there an, uh, any connection is established or not we need to verify it here first smb okay so okay and let's check okay it's taking here and let me use here telnet again um, 139 so okay let me test it again okay okay so now uh, it is say now it is connecting it's not connected so now you can see the port if we have removed here so now it is it now it is showing here connecting it means if it is a show it means 139 ports is not enabled is not and the output gone right the output gone okay so not enabled so that is the meaning here okay so 139 port is not enabled okay so okay so let me open again okay so here this is connecting okay so that is the meaning and